So, while I'm in here, I, I've had this system now um, for about a year. I, it just barely dawned on me that I, ha I built this system last, I think it was the end of uh, May. It may have been the beginning of June. Um, or was it my other system? Eh, I can't remember, but I know I've had uh, most of these components for about a year. So I did add the SSD there. I did add the MSI Twin Frozer GTS 250 right there. But the board, I've had the, the uh, cooler, the CPU, the uh, power supply. I cannot say enough about, about all those components. The, the board, CPU, cooler, RAM, which is Mushkin, uh, 1600 megahertz with timings of 78720 DDR3. I can't say enough about those and the Corsair uh, HX750 watt power supply. I can't say enough about that either. Um, just outstanding uh, components. And then I've got my two 640 uh, gigabyte blue drives, which I've gone back and forth a little bit. At one time I did have 228 gigabyte SSDs in RAID. But that only lasted, uh, I, I realized within a week that I really didn't need that. It wasn't much faster. One SSD is so fast that you that it, it, you don't even hardly notice uh, two in, uh, in RAID. So I quickly did away with the RAID and installed an SSD in my other system. So they were both fast. But having had this system for... A year now, this case and most of the components. Um, boy, I, I I can't believe it's been a year. I I would still build almost the same system today. I would get a motherboard um, that had SATA three instead of SATA two and USB three instead of USB. Uh, you know, that this one has, but other than that, I, I don't think I'd do anything different. I would still get the i7-860. I'd probably get a different cooler now. At the time I built this, um, this Cooler Master was all I could find. There was one other for the 1156. Uh, nobody had it in stock. So I'd per I might get a different cooler, although this one's performed... Um, outstanding I I could hardly ask for anything more from a $15 cooler um, I would have paid 50 for it with that kind of performance so I love the case um, the DVD burner I haven't had any problems with that I, I just haven't had any problems with any of it, it it's I can't believe it's been a year uh, so my year review of this K, of this uh, system is all I can really say is one word and that's outstanding. Okay, so with that, I will go ahead and button it up. Show you how easy this case is to put back together. No screws, no you know, no screwing around. You just pop it back in, pop it back together. Very nice. If you haven't uh, seen it, as far as the motherboard and some of the options, you know it's got it's got eSATA, two different types of FireWire, two four six eight two four six eight ten USBs on the back, dual gigabit LAN, um, and extremely. Um, good sound option if you want built-in sound and then there's the two DVI's for my MSI card alright so now that I've got it cleaned I'm going to turn it on and see if I 
screwed anything up cleaning it. Looks like it's firing up. There goes the fan. Oh, I was going to pause that. Well, it looks good, looking good. With my solid state drive, it should load windows up pretty quick. So anyway, guys, kind of a reminder, if you haven't cleaned your system for a couple months, uh, on a Sunday would be a good time to go after it. So, talk to you soon. Have a good day.